Hello everybody, this is Jeff Olson with Danfoss Drives. Today I have a video for you that will demonstrate how to use our MCT10 software to write a project file that was based on an old version of Drive software to a drive you're connected to with newer software. I'll also demonstrate how to convert a project file to a newer version without actually connecting to the drive. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to write an existing project file. I have one saved here. It's for an FC202 AquaDrive. It's a 10 horsepower, 40 volt with software version 3.61. And I'm going to write that project file to the drive I am connected to over here on the USB. That is also an FC202. However, the power size does not match. This is a one and a half horse drive. The input voltage does not match. This is a 240 volt drive. And the software version is current, 3.80. So we have a newer software version in the actual drive I'm connected to as well. To initiate this write, I'm going to go ahead and click down here on the project drive, right click and select write to drive. We're going to get this window here that says drives check and I can click for details. And this is going to tell us which parameters are fully compatible, limited or have no compatibility. Everything in green is fully compatible. This is talking about the option parameters in the A, B and C slot. That's fully compatible because neither of these drives have options so they're really not applicable. The drive series are both 202 so that's fully compatible. But the parameters with limited compatibility here are related to the power size of the drives that do not match, the input voltage of the drives that do not match and also the basic software version. Again this is a current version 3.8 I'm trying to write to. So I'm going to say OK with that. I'm going to press the OK button here and it's going to execute the write. You'll see here that it does mention there's no suitable conversion table because one's not been created. It also flagged the drive differences here that we pointed out earlier. Minor versions, power sizes and voltage ranges are different. And if we scroll down further, we have these com uh, parameter compatibility issues. Now, there was a 100% 100 right, but you definitely want to make sure and scroll through this list to see if there's nothing that is of major concern. It does appear longer than it actually is because it's listing the same parameter for all four setups. So, for example, here it can't write this parameter 120 uh, in setup 4, setup 3, set up to etc so everything is actually listed four times all these one group parameters are related to the motor data and I'm not concerned about those because I'm gonna go in this drive I've written to and adjust the motor parameters and do a motor tuning anyhow so those will all be addressed automatically you can normally disregard the motor parameters in the group one there we have some things related to power tuning that I'm not concerned about and if we continue scrolling down we get here to this uh, area where it shows the parameters that are not written. In this case, these parameters here were not written to the online drive because that parameter is missing in the online drive. So you want to scroll through this list. Normally I'll say that you can accept these errors, go program the new motor data, and test the setup to see if it works. Normally it will. So next thing I want to do is show you how to create a conversion table, assuming you don't have a drive to connect to. So if I wanted to upgrade this project file that is based on software version 3.61, I can highlight that drive, and I'm going to select convert drive. Now before I get into this, I should mention to you that you have to be logged in or running MCT10 in administrator mode in order to prevent Windows from blocking these functions to work properly. So to do that, you can normally right click on the program icon and select run as administrator. Once you've done that, you can go in here to the convert drive tool. The source drive that I clicked on is the old project drive with version 361 and it's asking me what I want the destination project drive to be. So I can select actually a different drive as you can see here altogether. You will get more errors. So I'm going to select that it's also a 202. I want to go to version 3.8 which is the newest version and again my drive has a different power size and voltage range that's sitting next to me, sitting next to me here. So I'm going to convert this 3.6 to 3.8, press the OK key, 
and I'll also get the same type of errors here when I do it this way. It's going to show me that certain parameters are out of range. Again, they're all one group parameters we notice here, and that's because the power sizes are different. And then it tells us which parameters don't exist in the destination or the source drive. So I would want to take a look at these and make sure it was nothing that I was really concerned about addressing. So we can press the OK key here. It's going to ask you to name this conversion table. It'll actually save it in MCT10. So if you were to go to write from 361 to 38 again, you wouldn't need to go through this. It would just be a clean write. So I'll name that file and save it. And at this time, it updated my project. So here we have the converted drive and now we're looking at a 202 drive that's been converted to software version 3.80. If there were any parameters in this project that didn't exist in the older one, I can address them now and save the project and now it's converted. Hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Dan Foss Drives can provide additional technical support parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.